Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and today we're back in Atlantic City on the iconic historic Atlantic City boardwalk to check out the Tropicana Hotel and Casino here in Atlantic City. The Tropicana is also known mostly by locals as the Trop and previously known as Trop World Resort. The hotel is one of the larger ones here in New Jersey with just under 2,400 guest rooms and a 200,000 square foot shopping and entertainment complex. That complex being known as the Quarter which we're going to walk through shortly. The hotel has over 30 restaurants, 30 shops, 20 bars and lounges, 4 pools, and the Tropicana showroom, and multiple spas as well. Yep, this place is big, so make sure you have comfortable shoes on, and let's start checking out the entire hotel and casino complex here at the Tropicana in Atlantic City. Ready? We actually entered through the lower level here. The main level is one flight up, which we're gonna check out uh, shortly. This is the main reservation area or the front desk, if you will. They have bell services here as well. Um, there's a convenience store down here as well as one of the spas. Um, if you're doing self-checkout, this place is so large, they usually have kiosks in each of the towers. There's several towers here. Um, and if you just wanna avoid coming down here and waiting online, I suggest you use the, uh, the self-serve uh, check-in, check-out kiosks. Uh, again, they're conveniently located throughout the complex, so you don't have to come down here and wait online and walk far to get to your tower. Right now, we made it up to the Chelsea Tower. We're eventually going to end up by the Havana Tower by the end of this video, all the way on the other side of the complex. This is the Chelsea 5 Gastro Pub in the uh, Chelsea Tower. Here you can enjoy panoramic ocean views to complement handcrafted cocktails and an eclectic, locally sourced menu. Don't miss award-winning wings, blue crab mac and cheese, and a diverse drink menu featuring over 50 whiskeys and bourbons. Right now we're heading over to the Gilcrest Diner, which is one of my favorite spots for blueberry pancakes in the morning. They actually have two locations, one here in the Tropicana, and the other one at Gardner's Basin on the other side of town. That one's on the water. It's a beautiful view from that one. And by the way, just so you know, I have separate videos on a lot of these places we're going to be walking by today here at the Tropicana, including the Gilcrest and other restaurants uh, and shops here at the Tropicana. So just make sure you check out the channel if you're interested in learning more about these places we're walking by today. This mezzanine that I'm on right now is kind of like the convention or ballroom area of the Tropicana and it overlooks the beautiful casino they have here at the Tropicana. As I mentioned earlier, lots of options as far as dining, lounges, and clubs. And one of the more popular clubs here at the Tropicana is called Boogie Nights. All-time classics live forever at Boogie Nights. They're serving up the ultimate 70s, 80s, 90s dance parties with all your favorite hits, including DJs, live music, themed events, and more throughout the year. You never know what you're going to see or hear here. Got to keep on dancing, keep on dancing. As I mentioned, the casino here at the Tropicana is quite nice. They have well over 2,000 in slot machines. Uh, their sports book is pretty large. It actually features 180 seats, a 250 square foot odds board, and a massive panoramic uh, wall of LED screens. This restaurant's called Olan by Garcis. It's a beautiful restaurant with beautiful panoramic views of the ocean. Uh, it's been closed for quite a while now, and it's no longer listed on the website, the Tropicana website, so I'm not quite sure what's going on with this restaurant. Of course, if you guys know, let us know in the comments below. This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. 
Right now we're in the quarter, uh, the area where all the shops and restaurants are, or most of the shops and restaurants, I should say, here at the Tropicana. You also have to go through the quarter to get to the Havana Tower. This nightclub is called Kiss Kiss. You can enjoy Tropicana Atlantic City nightlife like never before here. This lively neon lit club features rotating DJs and live performances, plus dancing and VIP bottle service. Coming up here on the right is a damn good sports bar, Atlantic City's hottest sports bar and lounge, a thrilling way to watch your favorite league events, pair your experiences with one of the bar's famed 40 ounce beers and a classic array of game day favorites. And while I'm thinking about it, a shout out to Charlie Morochnik who found Cabby in my latest New York City vault video, Coney Island number one. Good job, Shirley. Right now we're on the mezzanine level of the quarter. We're gonna head downstairs to see a lot more shops and a lot more restaurants. There are two main areas at the Tropicana for uh, shopping and restaurants. One of them is the quarter, which is where we are now. The other one is the marketplace, which is located directly on the boardwalk downstairs. Between the two, you'll find stores such as Starbucks, A Time for Wine, AKA, The Boardwalk Corner Store, Irwin Pearl, Francesca's Collections, The Hat Emporium, Havana Sundries, James's Saltwater Taffy, Lick, the candy store, Marcel Rousseau, uh, Step Up, Swarovski, Talk of the Walk, Time After Time, the Tropicana Lobby Market, White House Black Market, and the Zephyr Gallery. Some of the restaurants you'll find here at the Tropicana include a damn good sports bar, Broadway Burger Bar, Carmine's, Casa Taco and Tequila Bar, Chelsea Five Gastro Pub, Chickies and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar, Cuba Libre Restaurant and Rum Bar, The Gilcrest Restaurant, Golden Dynasty, Hooters, Il Verde, La Petite Creperie, The Noodle Bar, The Palm, and P.F. Chang's Atlantic City. I have visited many of these restaurants and you'll find those videos here on the New York channel. Just do a quick search. I think as far as sheer volume of number of stores and restaurants, the Tropicana here in Atlantic City is a winner hands down just for, again, sheer number of stores and restaurants that you have to choose from. By the way, I forgot to mention when we were on the uh, mezzanine level of the quarter here that that is where the Havana Tower is. So you pretty much have to walk through the entire quarter to get to the Havana Tower. One of the nicer towers here at the Tropicana, definitely worth the walk. Every time I stay here, I stay at the Havana Tower. This place obviously has a Cuban flair. And speaking of Cubans, who remembers the name of the nightclub that Ricky Ricardo had on the show I Love Lucy? That's right, the Tropicana. Lucy, I'm home. Lucy? Oh, hi, honey. I love Lucy. Ooh. Hey, if you're digging this video, why not subscribe to the New York channel and give the video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, throw me a Cuban cigar. Also, don't forget to check out the community room. Just click on that community tab here on the New York channel. You'll find out a lot of uh, current events going on in Las Vegas, here in Atlantic City, New York City, uh, Orlando, New Orleans, some personal stuff, and when the next live show, Live from New York show is here on the channel. So make sure you check out that community room regularly. So we've seen the uh, entrances to the Chelsea Tower near the beginning of this video. The uh, Havana Tower was at the end of the quarter, which was that mezzanine level where we were. Um, the South Tower is pretty much where those uh, ballrooms and conference rooms were at that mezzanine looking over the uh, casino. And this here is kind of like the entrance to the North Tower. There's four towers here at the uh, Tropicana. And right by the entrance to the North Tower is Il Verde, an Italian restaurant that serves meticulously prepared gourmet dishes in an elegant yet relaxed atmosphere. And downstairs in this area, we have some family fun with escape rooms as well as a family arcade. Back upstairs, we have the 10 North Lounge, a cool lounge with a double-sided fireplace, cozy seating, and bar top slot machines, 
one of my, uh, I guess, uh, my top 10 places to come for a cocktail here in Atlantic City. And we just passed that sports book I spoke about earlier. And coming up here is Chickie and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar. Chickie and Pete's Crab House and Sports Bar is a two-story, 16,000 square foot full-service restaurant. And I just mentioned Chickie and Pete has two levels. We just saw the top level. Now we're downstairs at the Marketplace, which is right on the boardwalk. Chickie and Pete has their lower level down here, as well as many other restaurants and shops. I've also eaten at several restaurants down here at the Marketplace at the Tropicana, so check those videos out. Just do a quick search on the New York channel. Also check out the New York store. Lots of cool New York merchandise available. That link for the store is located below, uh, right after the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like comment ask some questions and most importantly subscribe by clicking on the button on the left you can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city